All right, guys, so we're going to talk real quick about three Raspberry Pis that we use on our network and what we use them for. I'll go from the one that we got first to the one that we just got. So this is a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. And this is very special to us and to our boys because, well, I turned this into a retro pie, and, which basically means that all the arcade games you remember growing up, all the Nintendos, Segas, Ataris, all those vintage games, all of them are on here. I think I got like 15 or 16,000 different games on here. So for the retro pie, connect the HDMI straight to the TV. I do use this one wired right next to the router, uh, which is right by the TV. And then I use two of the USBs for two wired USB controllers so we can play two players at a time. Making a retro pie uh, is nice and fun. It's actually something that uh, I enjoy doing with the kids often. The next one I got is the Raspberry Pi Zero W for the wireless. And I got this one to build a pie hole, like P-I-H-O-L-E. Um, basically what that is, is that is a DNS black hole. So this kills all the ads, all the banners, all the clickbait, all the spam, all the phishing, all the everything. And I actually have this set up on our router to where it blocks for the entire network. I don't have to configure each individual device. I just configured this one time, put it on the router. So any device that connects to my router, there are no ads. There are There is nothing. It is a DNS black hole. The Raspberry Pi Zero W, we run headless. So all this has is power and we have a micro USB to ethernet adapter. So this just sits next to the router or our switch and just runs. We did this, uh, one, because it speeds up your whole experience on the internet, not having all those ad servers trying to serve you ads all the time. The other thing is our boys use a tablet, and while um, we do monitor what they use, this gives us peace of mind that there's no ads being served whatsoever. There's nothing for them to click on accidentally or, or just being curious. Uh, this has been a lifesaver. Definitely recommend this to anybody um, who has kids or who just doesn't want to view ads on web pages. This is the Raspberry Pi 4B, and I did get the one that has the case fan because of how hot these do get. Uh, you could search for yourself the videos on how hot they get, but you definitely need the case fan for this one. So this device, we use this for three purposes. It is a it is our VPN server. It is our NAS, our NAS, our network attached storage. The other thing I use this for is I'll switch the SD card out and I'll use this as a rogue device as part of my work. This has a USB-C for power. And then we use a HDMI adapter to go from the mini to full HDMI into the back of a monitor or the TV, depending on what we're doing. I also plug in, uh, my wireless keyboard and mouse over here on these two USBs. And then these two USBs go to our USB 3.0 network attached storage drives. This is uh, very, very useful. The reason I like the Raspberry Pis is they're extremely fast to switch this SD card out on. The SD card is right here, just slides in and out. So I could, I could create a new one, I could clone a new one, I could do whatever I want, and then switch SIM cards, turn it on, and there it is, it just works, it's fast. Um, building the images for the SD cards is very, very easy. There's plenty of online tutorials on how to do that. Um, none of these, on any of these, has taken me more than two hours to build total. And the two hour one was for the NOS, connecting the NOS storage and setting up my VPN. And this one probably took two hours because I had to find all of the ROMs for all the emulations for all the different consoles. But this one took me maybe 
15 minutes to set up and then it was running and everything was blocked immediately. We didn't even have to do a DNS flush on any of our devices. It just automatically grabbed it. Um, but your settings are going to vary based on the router that you have. All right, guys. So that's that's uh, three things that we have on our network uh, that are very, very useful and or fun for us. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask away in the comments. I'll answer. If I don't know, then I'll tell you I don't know, or I'll go do the research and I'll find out. Thanks for watching, guys, and we are on to the next adventure. Playing Retro Pie. I love playing Retro Pie, and my favorite race car Retro Pie is Mario. I love playing Retro Pie because we get to play Mario Kart, and my favorite car on Mario Kart is Luigi.